Are you trying to run your old Sibelius that you bought five to six years ago on your new MacBook? And when you try to activate your Sibelius, you keep getting this error message saying, "Avid Application Manager is damaged and can't be opened." If that is the case, keep watching. This video is for you. If you're in a hurry, you can skip the introduction and jump to the relevant timestamps directly. Otherwise, you could watch the video from the start to the end. Before we start, let's do some searching online. First, let's visit the official website. The first result I get is a compatibility table. If we scroll all the way down to Sibelius 8.5, we can see that it only supports up to Mac OS 10.12. I recently upgraded to a new Mac Mini with an M2 processor in it. It came with a Mac OS 13 pre-installed, and there is no way that I could downgrade it back to 10.12. In other words, the Sibelius that I own is not compatible with my new Mac Mini. At least, this is what the official website says. But is it really the case? Let's try it out. The installation process seems normal. Nothing unusual so far. But towards the end of the installation, we get this error message. Supposedly, Avid Application Manager would launch automatically, but it somehow crashes. Anyhow, let's close the installation windows and try launching Sibelius. This prompt will appear asking you to activate your Sibelius. If you press the Activate button, the same message that we saw during the installation would appear, making the software activation impossible. If you skip the activation and press continue trial, Sibelius will pull up normally using the 30-day trial mode. Nonetheless, let's see if Sibelius 8.5 works on our new Mac Mini. We will test it by creating a new empty score. First, let's try inputting some random nooks. Everything seems normal so far. Let's listen to the playback. It works perfectly fine. Next, let's try adding some slurs and articulations. Finally, let's add some staccatos and listen to the playback. So, Sibelius 8.5 is working perfectly fine on our new Mac Mini. The only problem is, we cannot activate it. To activate Sibelius, we need to launch this program called Avid App Manager. But somehow, this program does not work on our new Mac Mini with an M2 processor. So, I do more searching online to see if anyone is able to activate their old Sibelius on their new Mac. Until a few days ago, I was using Sibelius 8.5. After updating to Apple's new Mac OS 10.15, it does not work anymore. Sibelius and Mac OS 11, Big Sur problems. Can Sibelius work on the new Mac M1 Big Sur OS? Unfortunately, most of the results I found simply say no. But then I found this. For the interested, Sibelius 2022.5 seems to me to work without issues with the new Ventura Mac OS 13. This is a huge encouragement because his Sibelius version does not officially support Mac OS 13, but he somehow managed to run it. I searched a bit more online and found that this program called Avid Link is used to activate Sibelius 2022. Can we also activate Sibelius 8.5 using Avid Link? Let's find out together. First, download Avid Link from the official website. Scroll down and click the Mac OS button to start the download. After downloading, launch the installer. Follow the instruction that you see on the installer. The whole process takes a few minutes. After the installation is finished, Avid Link will launch automatically. On the left hand side, you will see a button called Products. Click on it, and you will see the Sibelius that you have installed on your Mac. After that, click License. It will bring you to a new page, and you will see two options to activate your Sibelius, either online or offline. If you have the internet access, I recommend you to use the online method, because it is easier than the offline method. 
to do the online activation, simply sign in to your Avid account in the official website, and then click View My Products. Once inside, you will see Sibelius. Click to get your system ID and activation ID. Copy both information back to Avid link and click Activate. Wait for a while until you see this message. It took me around 30 seconds to finish the activation. Let's open up Sibelius 8.5 to see if it is really activated. And yes, it is. This is how to activate Sibelius 8.5 online using Avid link. And that's it, you can stop watching here. Next, let's deactivate Sibelius and talk about how to activate it without the internet access. Before we start, I need to clarify that offline activation here means the computer having Sibelius installed has no internet access. To activate Sibelius, you still need to have the internet access on your other devices. It could be your mobile phone, the computer in your office, or the computers in the public libraries. First, on the computer with Sibelius and Avid link installed, check the device ID and write it down on a paper. Next, go to another device with the internet access. Go to this website and log into your account. After logging in, you will be asked for activation ID, device ID, and system ID. Go to your profile and copy over all the information. And then click Submit. In my case, it took me more than one minute to finish the submission. So be patient and do not close the browser. After that, there will be a button for you to download the license file. Download it and then copy this file to a USB device. Now go back to the Mac Mini with Sibelius installed and copy the license file over here. And then open up Avid link. Under the offline tab, click Browse and choose your license file. And finally, click Activate. When you see this message, Sibelius is successfully activated. We can open up Sibelius to double check if everything is working fine. Sibelius is successfully activated because we can find our system ID here. This is how to activate Sibelius 8.5 on the latest Mac devices. Although I only test the basic functions such as score typing and music playback, everything seems to work fine. There might be some bugs when you use old Sibelius on the latest Mac devices. Anyhow, I hope this video helps you to save some money upgrading your Sibelius. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.